Now, keep in mind, during this interview, Jody Arias maintained she wasn't even in town when Alexander brutally slaughtered. Arias spews lie after lie, trying to convince the media she's innocent. I really don't remember the day at all. I just remember when I got the phone call, um, and it was late, 10.30, I think. Who called you? A mutual friend of ours. And what did he or she say? He didn't say much. He, he didn't know much. And um, he just said something has happened, and I don't have a lot of details. And um, I said, well, what can you tell me? And he, again, I just don't have a lot of details. And I thought, well, maybe it's a mistake. Are you sure? And he said, um, I'll let you know when I know more, but you're the first person I thought to call. What was going through your mind? Um, it, was a, it was a shock, a feeling of shock and a sort of disbelief. And, and there wasn't, it was a real restlessness because I didn't know. And I felt, I don't know, it, it, you just don't know until I actually got confirmation of what had happened. It, that's when things really began to, to sink in. What did you do at that point? Once you got more information, what did you do? Um, it was over the phone, and so I just remained as calm as possible, and well, I, I got confirmation from his bishop, who actually confirmed it, and um, at that point, it, it was just about me holding it together over the phone and, and crying as silently as possible while he told me what he knew, and then I hung up with him, and... and were you here in town, or were you... I was in Wairica, California. California. When was the last time that you saw Travis? Um, it was sometime in early June. How far before his death do you remember? Um, I don't remember exactly, but it was very close to. There were, um, you were mentioning in the interview before this, the pictures that were found and recovered of the two of you. Mm -hmm. You were mentioning what was on those pictures. The detective did show you one. Can you explain um, he, it, well, it's not, it's, it's all public information, but it's nothing that I'm really comfortable talking about, um, and it's nothing that he nor I ever intended to be made public. It's something that we intended to keep private. Um, but now that all of this has been thrust under a microscope, everybody knows about it. So part of it, part of me says, why bother trying to skirt around the issue? Um, and another part of me says, um, you know, have a little discretion. Um, but again, it, it's public information and. They're just photos that we took and um, that we deleted with the intention of, it. and it, it, that wasn't that wasn't a one-time incident. I mean, there were many times where, you know, you took pictures, yeah, yeah, pictures, whatever, and and any kind of media, and and it was deleted because it's just it's just something that we didn't intend to ever keep. Can you talk about some of the your love for photography and just uh, in general the type of photography that you did? Yeah. Um, I've loved photography since since I can remember, since I got my first camera. Um, I've taken pictures of everything you could think of, and I think what I really began to enjoy and settle in on was, was people. Um, I really enjoy um, nature and sunsets, but people and, and their expressions, um, moments, especially weddings when, you know, you can just, you can just see expressions on people's faces and, and emotional moments. I, I love capturing that sort of thing. Jody, why do you think investigators believe that you killed Travis? Um, well, there's a lot of forensics suggesting that I was, um, you know, in his house. Um, of the evidence that they pre presented to me, um, I was asked the question, if you were presented this evidence and you were a third party, what would you think? And, um, you know, I, I need to be honest in it, the evidence is very compelling, but none of it proves that I committed a murder. None of it proves that I committed a crime. Um, what it does substantiate is what I did tell detectives. Did you, I have to ask you this, did you kill Travis Alexander? Absolutely not. No, I had no part in it.